So I have my skirt pieces prepared for this walking skirt. I sewed in the facing and um, lining piece on those. I actually just have them basted in. And um, I guess they'll get attached by me sewing these skirt panels together. But this is the center front panel. This is the outer fabric. Um, then we have a side front, side back, uh, center back, center back, side back, side front, and then of course the side front gets attached to the center front piece. So I think I'm going to start sewing the panels of the skirts together. I'm probably going to start with the center front and sewing the side fronts. And then I do need to make pocket pieces because I want to add pockets to this. And I think those will be in between the side front and side back panels. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, but I can, I think I can go ahead and attach the center front to the side fronts for now. And then I'll work from there. <laughs> So the side front pieces are now sewed on to the center front pieces, and um, I think I might attach the side back pieces to the back pieces so that I can then work on the pocket and before I sew the side front to the side back. Um, so that's my plan at the moment. I haven't actually read the instructions on how to put the walking strip skirt together. But I figured I would read that when I get to the back pleating and stuff and figuring that out. So this is what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot of cat hair on here because I left it out on the table. But I am nearly finished with my walking skirt mock-up, which will also be wearable. I'm actually going to wear this. Um, and I think it's going to be super cute for Christmas. But I just need to put in like the little hook, um, some hooks to, for the closure. That's a little placket. And this um, flannel plaid fabric, um, it shouldn't really fray, so I'm not gonna bother finishing the, the edges, I don't think. But I turned in the waistband and sewed that in place by hand. Um, I will be checking out the fit on it and then putting pockets where I think they should go after I try it on. But I basically just need to do hook closure. I'll have to hem the bottom because just so it looks nicer on the bottom. Take out the basting and also make and put in pockets. Also, it is getting hot again, and I am miserable. I hate hot weather so much. I want cool fall weather. I want rain. I want wind. And I just really dislike warm, hot, summery weather. I'm ready for fall. Like, I've been drinking pumpkin spice lattes since they've come out, and I've been lighting pumpkin spice candles for a while. <laughs> I'm ready for fall. So, um, because this skirt is going to actually overlap quite a bit, um, when I have it closed, I think I could get away with it closing by just one hook, and you won't really see, like, actually, 
you won't really see it because it's overlapped so much especially if I do wear a corset then um, it would be even smaller so I might do a hook for when I'm uncorseted and then one for when I do wear my corset so that it can fit though that range of size difference I do need to fold these edges out and sew them down just where the closure is so that I mean I don't really need to because I don't think it's really gonna fray but I think it might look a little nicer so at least on this side this is the placket side so that'll go underneath so really I just need to sort of fold this under and I have skirt hooks um so I think I want to go with probably a more brass color I kind of move I'm kind of more drawn to that so where's a little there we go a bar actually use this do the dark ones so I'll probably put that in so that I can try it out without a corset and then I'll probably add like another hook or something for when I do wear a corset with it and then it can fit both size ranges.